Hi, welcome to Skillbell Tutorials. This is Arun here with LifeRay 6.2 Development Tutorials, session number 14. In the previous session, we have seen how to create the database tables using Service Builder. Now we have created the table called um, Wow Names. Now I'm going to show you how to save a value to the Service Builder data. So for that, I have the WOW controller. I'm just reminding you the WOW controller we created in the previous sessions and we have submitted a form and we passed a name to that particular form and that name we have uh, set in the preferences. Now we received that name at the process action. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this name to save the value to the uh, table which we created now just now that the table name is wow names so for that th there is uh, an entity we created that entity name is names using that names plus local service that is what the format is that is something like the name names local service you can do a control space you will see the names local service util is available over here you can do that uh, you can click that names local service util dot create names so what it is going to do the create names is actually expecting a uh, object mm, the, sorry uh, it's actually expecting a long ID which is its primary key that tables rows primary key that is what we are expected to pass here and it is going to give you the, a model object of this names that is, is a, that is automatically generated by life service builder so I am going to put names over here names name so this name object I created here now uh, what I am expected to do is I need to pass a uh, pass a ID which is a unique ID to this uh, to this value so um, for that okay I, I'm I'm missing an uh, error here here is a name which is I already declared that's why the names is giving me an error so I'm just giving it as name object or it's better to give name model okay so the name model so the name model is here and now I'm going to create the uh, ID over here for that I need to use counter local service util because we don't know the uh, primary key or we don't know the last uh, inserted key and it need to be a unique one so we will use the counter local service util to generate the uh, ID. So what we are going to do is counter local service util dot increment and I need to pass the class name. So what I am going to do the model name I am going to copy here name dot class dot get name so this will create an object name model which is of names model object that is the names class model object you will get with a id so now what i'm going to do name model dot set it it will have a setter of the name value this is the this name is what we are going to save in the column name the second column of this table name this is what i am going to do the name i i received the name and i passed it here so let, let me just uh, show you um, how this can be saved to the database now now this names model object is created but it is not saved to the database for that we again need to 
use the local service util the local service util is um, a utility class which is uh, providing some utilities to get the data or put the data or update or delete these kind of operations you can do with the local service util and um, the beauty here is this code is not uh, written by the developer but it is generated by the service builder itself so you don't need to worry about that part so uh, here we are going to update the names table so update names and we are going to pass the name model over here so the service builder actually uses the help of uh, hibernate and this data will be saved to the database now that that's it so i just updated the names and i just saved saving it into the database now let's deploy the portlet again and see how it is going to work with saving the database now let me just show you uh, picking up the tables data so you can see there is no data present in the database now the build got successful and here the portlet is deploying going back to the browser and i just need to sign in it's not mandatory for this portlet but however i want to sign in and show you i just signed in and now I am going to put spot bay to the database, submit it. There is no exception happened in the console and I am just going to reload this. You can see there is one record has been inserted to this table agile.wow names. You can see one and a spot bay name is uh, in the database so we saved one record let's try saving um, one more record submit it so you can you need to refresh this table you can see one more record has inserted to the table so this is quite easy to insert data to the table using service builder you didn't um, write much code you had to write only uh, three lines of code which allows you to save the data to the database and it it generated the id also the id one two is generated if you are uh, entering another uh, field here what it is going to uh, generate is another id that is again a unique id it will generate and uh, it will just save to the database and that's it for the session and in the next session we will see how we can select data from the database which we already inserted using the service builder thank you for watching the skill belt tutorials keep supporting us and keep watching the tutorials